Welcome to FitXR, your at-home structured fitness app available on the Quest Store. Today, I'll be giving you an in-depth look at all six exercise drill types so you can dive into your fitness journey fully informed and ready to burn some calories. With over 1,000 classes spread across these six drill types, FitXR ensures there's no shortage of content. They consistently update and add new music and classes, keeping things fresh. Now, it's important to note that FitXR comes with a $12.99 monthly membership fee. However, they offer a generous seven-day free trial for new users and a 90-day trial for previous FitXR owners transitioning to the subscription model. Monthly subscriptions might not be for everyone, but after diving into FitXR myself, I see the value it brings to an at-home structured VR fitness setup. It's ideal for those with a busy lifestyle and limited time to exercise. The portability of standalone VR headsets makes it easy to squeeze in a quick workout wherever you are with flexible class durations catering to tight schedules. For example, in just 40 to 45 minutes, I burned around 400 calories, according to my Fitbit just doing some of these classes here within FitXR. But enough talk, let's jump into the video. I'll be playing through the six different exercise drills with some of the beginner classes. Personally, I lean towards the combat drills as I enjoy the intensity of hitting things when they pop up, but I also tackled the dancing drills, which were a new challenging experience for me. I'll include chapters in this video, allowing you to skip to the specific drills you're interested in. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more VR gaming and fitness content. And if you want to support me here at Baby Spine Gaming, consider becoming a channel member or leaving a super thanks tip in the comments down below, as this video will be demonetized due to copyrighted music within the FitXR classes. Now let's get moving and explore the world of FitXR together. Hey, what's up and hello, FitXR? Coach Casey here with three rounds of boxing, and today it's all about confidence. Start in split stance, left foot forward, hands up at guard. Begin with your upper end cross. We're gonna see a lot of these strikes in this round. Let's get the form on point. Your uppercut travels from low to high, aim to smash your opponent under the chin. Cross jabs now. We have two snappy jabs here. Think of them as a push. It's a quick punch out and fast retraction back to tell your opponent to back up. Now hit him with the rear hand cross with more energy. Smash this one through the queue. Overcuts. I want this like a spring. You load, then boom. Get him with the fast hits. Hey, switch your feet and shake out for your upper cross. Real sister love, you ain't seen enough. Back with a new feeling with your feet switched. Repetition is a key player in confidence. Get the moves in your bones and crush it with your cross jabs. Ooh, firing it up. Power cross. Give a big exhale, show your opponent who's the boss. Uppercuts with power. I want the same spring action. You load and get ready, then unleash the swings. Take it back to upper cross. Let your confidence shine. This is your show off moment. Power cross jabs. Give a little extra rotation in your shoulder to really drive the cross. Finish power uppercuts. Spring into action one last time. Ooh, strong start. Take this confidence into round two. Switch your feet and let's keep it going. Second round. We get to see a little side to side energy. Left foot in front. Let's go cross hook. First appearance from our hook. Drive your punch in a line across your chest with your forearm parallel to the ground. Another chance to smash through the queue. Yes, defense time. Dodge the bar with your slips. 
roll your shoulders around the shot. Can't touch you. I knew that I'd be here one day. New combo, jab, cross, uppers. I want the first shots to be quick. Practice your fast throws and resets. Second shots bring the intensity. Bigger punches to knock your opponent's socks off. Power to the uppercut. Rotate through your hips to start the fire. Russian it. Switch your feet, shake it out, cross hook incoming. Fireball shot to the flame. Tonight I'm on team. Celebrate himself made. I know what I got on my Bring confidence to the hips. Sometimes that's about letting go. Anything that's holding you back, shake it off and embrace in your energy. And your power. I can buy with my sunshades. Ooh, we gotta build. Keep amping it up. Fight for it. Jab, cross, power, others. You can never hurt my pride. I know that I'm on your mind. You're gonna have to wait in line. You can never hurt my pride. No one hurting your pride. You're too strong. Come on. Less than a minute left. Find your flow and hold your streak. Slip time. Alternating shots to keep you on your toes. But I know you got this. Honey, don't you know that you are fast? Don't you know that you are unstoppable? Yes, you are. Build to the finish. Confidence comes from the process. You're building with each shot, each drive, and now we hold this energy to the end of the round. Keep going. Hey, switch your feet for the last round. Last round. We put it all together and finish strong and confident knowing you rocked it. Shake everything out and reset in your stance. Left foot in front, feet shoulder distance. Let's start. Hook upper. Use these first two strikes to find a flow. Hips rotate through both with shoulders following. Perfect. Get the slips. We've seen this before, and I want you radiating confidence. Get your smirk on. It's cute they think they can get a hit on you. Main combo coming. Start jab, hook. Taking it slow to start. Getting the moves down. Pick it up. Show your speed and power. Let's get it. Love it. Southpaw time. Switch your feet. Hook upper back. Practice finishing your punch, bringing your hands back to guard. We got more speed coming your way. Slips and hooks. One of my favorites. Use the momentum from your slip to drive back and answer with your hook. Next up, uppers and ducks. Starting slow. Practice using the duck to drive the upper. Speed it up. Get it. Little dip under. Big drive back. Powered main combo coming back. Slips and hooks. It's the calm before the storm. You have your eyes on the prize? We're ready to pounce and finish strong. One last time, main combo with power. 
Your strength, energy, and confidence showing to the end. Let's get it! Awesome job. I'm Casey, and until next time, later days. Hey, it's Coach Sarah, and I've got a quick, tiny but mighty two-track strengthening class for you. Our first circuit has two sets of two moves, working for 30 seconds, resting for 10. So let's start with split squat. Step the right foot back, hit the two cues at shoulder level, then bend both knees as you follow the arrows down for the bottom cues. Rinse and repeat. Inhale as you gently drop your back into the ground as your front knee hits a 90 degree angle stacked over your ankle. Then exhale as you drive your energy back up to standing. Left wing quad should be firing up in this dance and don't forget to keep your arms pumping to hit those cues. Your feet back to an even stance for single torso twist. Right hand hits the front cue, rotate to the left wall, and strike. Exhale as you rotate to engage your obliques, the sides of your torso. Keep the arm up on the opposite side so both sides are active. Found your flow? Slightly bend your knees and see if you can push the tempo. Split squat again. This time, step your left foot back so we can work your right glute and quad. Same principles apply from before. Working the front leg, back leg for stability. Inhale down, exhale up. Keep your foot, knee, and hips all aligned as you move up and down. Can't have you tilting like Little Miss Teapot. Back to an even stance for single torso twist on the other side. Left hand leaning, rotating to the right. talked about exhaling on the twist to help engage your obliques. I always like to think about bringing my belly button to spine to achieve the deepest engagement. See if that imagery works for you. If you feel like one side is stronger or faster than the other, don't let that discourage you. That's why we're here training together. Plus, halfway done after this. And just like that, it's our final circuit. Amping up our strength training by adding some cardio. Two moves, two sets working for 30 seconds, resting for 10. So shake it out now, cause it's shit squat step out time. Starting feet together, left hand hits the cue, then step out into your squat with your left hand strike. Return to center and do it all again. Keep in mind, one, drop low to hit the outside cue when you step out by sending the hips back, chest stays lifted. Two, step back from the squat as quickly as you can by pushing off your left foot and squeezing your inner thighs together. That's it, keep it moving all the way to zero. is an agility square. Following the shape as quickly as you can, starting top right corner, right hand leading. Get in a wide stance for this fun cardio and coordination exercise. Quick jabs as you reach across for the high corner, then lower in your squat for the bottom cue. Once you get the pattern, push your tempo because speed is the name of the game. Let's even.
even out our shift squat by stepping out with your right leg this time. Start feet together and let's get legalicious. Ow, pop it and drop it. To help with power and speed, don't forget to exhale back to standing. Let's get the most out of this workout as we can. Give me another burst of energy and go for it. You should be feeling out of breath and getting a little sweaty. Last move. Hit a wide stance for agility square starting top left corner with left hand leading. Let's go. This is a combo of our step out squat and single torso twist. So your muscles have the training. Now let's put them to the test. Remember, this is a tiny but mighty class. So give me everything you got in your final few seconds. Short and sweet, just like me. I'm Sarah. See you again soon. What's well, good? I'm Sarah here with the two-track class. We're going to break down choreo step-by-step to get you dancing with confidence. Let's start with a cute step touch starting right, then left. To the left. Yes, nice big step side to side. Now let's add some arms, reaching up as you step, and down. Other side, reaching up on the diagonal, and down. Give me four more. Alright, let's speed it up. Let it reach and slide. Don't worry, we're here for a little longer, so there's plenty of time to get the pattern and rhythm. Think of leading with your hip on the slide for some extra sex. Give me eight more. Here's your last four. Then we got a new move coming up. This is called our chest stomp. Alternating stepping forward on one foot, then back together. So we got that right forward, together, then left. Together, yes, arms are lifted, elbows driving back to open up your chest on each stop. Two more. Here's your last one. Now let's speed it up. I need quicker weight shifts now, so push off your stomping foot to return center for easier transitions. Let's also remember to breathe. It's just you and me here. No one else is watching, so go ahead. Give me nice exhales. Last four. Then let's take it back to our reaching step touch, starting to the right. To the left. And speed it up. This round, see if you can give me bigger steps side to side. I'd also love to see more levels. Notice how I push my chest forward as I drop down. Give me four more. Chest stop, starting right foot. Together. Left. Together again. All right, let's speed it up. Legs just start to feel a yummy fire building with those big stomps forward. Last four. Ooh, it's giving that summer, fall, winter, and spring love. Shake it out and get ready for our next track. Now we moving. It's time to get grooving. Let's start with knee slams that look like this. We're gonna start with the right knee up, then switch left. Join me. All your weight needs to shift onto your standing leg as you lift your knee. Arms slam down like you're hitting a drum. All right, let's speed it up. We're here for a while, so you got time to practice. And when in doubt, 
Just work it out. Last four, then we got a new move called Jet Lean. Wide stance, get low, lean right, then to the left. Keep your back straight as you tip over like little Miss Teapot, arms extended like a plane. Speed it up. Stay low for me to work your legs. Also, the further you lean, the more you'll work your obliques on the sides of your torso. Give me eight more. Drive it side to side while staying low and wide. Freestyle. Use this to shake out your legs, reset, twerk, stretch, or just breathe. Dance is freedom, so just be you. We're going to take it back to the top with our knee slams. Going right, then left. Are we ready? Let's go! This is your home stretch. Notice how each knee lift engages your core. So, can you get your knees higher this round for me? Woo! more. And that's how you hit a five, six, and several eights. What's up, Phoenix Star? Free Diane, bringing you a high-energy express scope with weight class. It may be one track, but she is small and mighty. Quick safety reminder, keep a small bend at the elbows when you extend overhead. Raise your arms, let's pull it down. Pull your elbows down to your sides and squeeze your controllers. Think less, push, and more pull. You'll feel these in your back. Down for three pulses and up. These little pulses increase the time your muscles are under tension, meaning more burn and more gain. One more. Next, lateral raise. Raise your arms up to the side to shoulder height and down. Bring your feet to your shoulders now. Right, then left. Okay, shoulder squat. Feel the tension and power it through like an absolute legend. And relax. Roll the shoulders out. Let's take it from the top. Left pull downs are up. Remember to squeeze on the way down and keep the elbows soft at the top of that extension. Arms up. Get to pull thing, three and then up. Squeeze your shoulder blades together like your life depends on it. Imagine holding a piece of paper between them. Don't let it slip. One more. Ladder raise with a tap. Keep a soft bend in the supporting leg to minimize the box. Feeling the claws and glutes working. One more each side. Time to roll your way to a stronger back. Hinge forward from the hip. Pull your elbows back and squeeze. Follow me. Seven pulses. Lower and again. Push your belly button to the spine to engage your core. Last set. Let her race with a tap. 
I'll leave you to it. Shoulders burning yet? One more each side. Hold the legs, hold the arms. Three and down. You are inside the last 30 seconds. One more here. And roll your shoulders. Nice. Remember, just because the class is shorter doesn't mean you can't crush it and feel that satisfying burn. It's all about the effort you put in. Yes, be proud of what you have accomplished. I'm Coach Frida. Until next time, keep glowing. Fucking garbage. Hey yo, I'm Coach Billy D. Welcome to combat. Today's double dose of damage is all about level changes. Expect lots of ducks and blocks. Starting in the front stance, time to work. Combo one, hammer to block. You'll see this one a few times, so pace yourself. The main combo is coming in hot. Leverage that front stance to transition from your double punch to a strong low position before landing two alternate straights. After those double punches, we're going back to your first level change combo of hammers and blocks. Use the legs to get low, then get high. Back to your main combo. Hey, by the way, how's your front stance feeling? Now back to your first combo, this time with a power hammer. New power hammer combo. Keep an eye out for the surprise power cue. Here's a hit. It's your last double punch. Here it is. Now power cues on everything. Double punches and low straights. Let's call this your power three-piece. Main combo time. Power double punch to low straights. I want all the For this next combo, use the duck to set up your low straights before hitting the high block. Tense your arm as you block the oncoming strike. Keep up that big fight energy as you get back to your power three piece. Get all those points. Now bring power to your double punch duck combo. You are unstoppable! You'll end this round with the same combo that started it. Hammer to high block. See if you can empty the tank. Yeah, just like that. Done. Shake everything out and meet me in the next round. <sighs> Welcome to round two. You're ready to add rotations to your level changes as we continue to kill it from the front stance. 
Your first combo of your second round will be an uppercut to high block. You'll alternate sides. Time to throw hands. About to make it rain. Let me give you something to celebrate. Come on. Keep your chin down and your hands up for the hooks and slips. And if Here comes your main combo. Move, Use your legs to hit all do, these hammers. I just feel so good. Good, good. What part of this feels good to you? So good, for me, it's the good, long street. Use your legs to drive into your uppercut. And enjoy the power hammers I'm sending your way. Back to your first combo of the round. This time with a duck, smack dab in the middle of the action. Use the duck as a launch pad for your block. Damn. Double defense. Bet your opponent didn't see that coming. Posing for your picture like a superstar. Come on. After these hooks and slips, you're back to the main combo from earlier. See if you can improve on your previous effort. I just feel so good. Cues on the hammer and double punch. Now that feels good. Next up, alternating hook to slip. Use the momentum from the hook for the slip. Keep your chin down and your hands up, and don't forget to breathe. Keep the feeling going on and on. If you feel it, just dance along. Speed up and then power to the hook. Show me what you've got. That's what I'm talking about. Last combo of the round, coming in high. Time to put it all together. Use the hook to roll into the slip and the legs to power the uppercut. Ah. Power cues on everything, except the straight. And 30 seconds left in the round. Time to empty the tank. You're almost there. Keep up that big fight energy. You know what also feels really good? The end of a workout. I'm Coach Billy T, and that's the truth. Now go cool down. Hola, super fam. Jamie here with two tracks to get you moving. First move, step right and left for me. Let's go. Yes. Speed it up. Ready? Ow. Oh, you were ready. Looking sassy at your hips. We're building up to a new move. Two steps to the right coming up with right arm up. We're going to do the same to the left in four, three, two, let's go. Pick up the pace and add four more. Three, two, one, come on. Watch the next move. To spice it up, fam. Four more. Three, two, one, and breathe. Woo! Move your arms side to side with me. Hips two. Just follow me. From the top, saucy step. You ready? Woo! I love it, Sumba fam. We keep adding the sauce. Step to the right, coming up, and we do not hold back. In four, three, two, one. Ready? Go. Party time. Keep dancing, fam. Woo. Come 
coming up is your last move. Lift your knees up and your hands down. Oh, I'm ready. Are you ready? In three, two, one, go. I love it. Last eight, and I'll see you on the next track. Four, three, two, one, you rock. That is horrible. Let's move our cola, Suma fam. Step to the right and the left. Now pump your arms. Let's do that again. Speed it up in three, two, go. It's called cola combo time. Two more and a new move is coming. We step and travel. Come on. Ooh. Arms and legs on fire. Yes. Watch the next move. Follow me. Body wine. Love it. One more time before cola. Wine your body. Zumba. Oh, that's right, Zumba fam. I love it. I love it. And I love how you move your cola too. Two more, and we met Anga March. I love me a merengue break. Don't stop, don't stop. That's what the artist is saying.